Good evening everyone and thank you for coming. We are Capital City Band and we're going to start this week as we do all weeks with the Star Spangled Banner. Please rise if you're able. We've been spoiled lately with a large turnout every week in the band. And I started to the band by commenting how small we look this week, but we're only four people less than last week. But we want to let you know that we are always looking for more people to come and play with us. If you don't own an instrument, you can talk to me. If you uh, have some experience playing one, we might be able to find one we can loan you. So at any time, if you want to come and join Capital City Band, we're more than welcome to have new members. Tonight we're going to do movie music. Our first piece of music, the movie hit theaters in 1981. Think back, what was happening in 1981 for you? In the world, we witnessed our first flight of the space shuttle Columbia. It was the first time the word internet was ever used in the press. Lady Diana Spencer married her Prince Charming, who turned out maybe not to be so charming. A little known group, later known as Solidarity, inspired popular protests and a general strike in Poland. But here in the United States, we were on the edge of our seats wondering if the professor would win the girl, find the prize, and save us from all those bad guys in the Raiders of the Lost Ark.
River with a trumpet and clarinet sharing the solo part. Oh. Apparently he's a Star Wars fan. It kind of shows my age. I still think of that as a modern piece of music. <laughs> but we're going to go back a little bit further for the next piece. It appeared in a 1962 album of the year, and it was also named the best song for that year. Written by Henry Mancini, and the words were by Johnny Mercer, a popular writing duo. The screen shows us the writer's words as it opens. There once was a very lovely, very frightened girl. She lived alone except for a nameless cat. Anyone guess what the piece is? In the background, Holly Golightly strums her guitar and sweeps us into her world. From breakfast at Tiffany's, Moon River, and we will have Ed Linton and Janet Furmeister sharing the solo line. Somebody got the name right. Congratulations. <laughs> I didn't hear it. <laughs> so. Yay, Ruth Berry! Yay, Ruth! Okay, we're gonna keep this a smooth line, remember? Not one, three, one. We want to feel the one, but it's like four measures long, five measures long. Here we go, two measures. One, two, one, two. <laughs>
Wild Western. So get out your chewing tobacco. Riding jack. Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. That was the end of the road. In the next movie, I'm going to set the theme for you. It's actually music from three different movies. In the first movie, the bandits terrorize a small Mexican farming village every year. The village elders reach out to the United States because they need gunmen. This was made in 1960. The second movie Ma and Pa Prescott perish in a dangerous river crossing. Their daughter Eve marries the kind fur trapper Linus Rawlings, and their daughter Lilith takes up a career as a riverboat singer, released in 1962. And the most recent from 1985, Peyton, Emmett, Jake, and Mal come together to right the injustices which exist in a small western town. Digging into the wonderful world of westerns, we bring you music from The Magnificent Seven, How the West Was Won, and Silverado. So again, this is the wild, wild west, not the moderately conservative Vermont West. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, play it for Bernie. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm not sure how much it shows out there, but we knew there were some major important sections of that that the instrument to play it wasn't here tonight. So the band did a very good job at keeping going anyways and staying together. We're just hoping it never happens again. Did I mention we're looking for new members at all times? Our next piece of music is one of the most popular feel-good movies ever. The storyline has a tyrant, a pack of miserable and cruel children, an evil witch in sheep's clothing, and a crazed dictator with his army. It's more like a Grimm's fairy tale than a feel-good movie. And yet, so many people will list this film among their favorite things. I have confidence, after 16 going on 17 tries, you can climb every mountain to find the Captain Maria and the kids singing and dancing to highlights from the sound of music. Thank <laughs> you. 